here is a slightly raised elevated lesion on the skin. If it was less than five millimeters, you would call it a papule. If it was more than five millimeters, you might call it a nodule. Because we don't have a measuring stick next to it, I don't know what to call it. But let's take a closer look at it anyway. It looks like it's uh, slightly elevated here, as you'll see. And it's a little bit red. And uh, if it was more than about five millimeters, you might call it a nodule. This is one of the most common nodules or papules, papule if it's less than five millimeters, that you can get. It's firm. Uh, it's not filled with keratin. And it uh, looks like the surrounding skin may be pigmented a little bit. Quite frankly, in all honesty, this could be a lot of things right now. But let's look at it under the microscope and see if we could narrow it down drastically because that's what the dermatologists expect us to do. They expect us to look at a piece of skin and tell them absolutely what it is and, you know, who the patient's third grade teacher was. And uh, once again, here is your normal skin in question. Notice the dermis, both papillary up here and reticular down here, is rather uniform. However, in the piece of tissue we have above here, it looks like there is a nodular thickening of the dermis. Note, it looks like there is a relatively normal epidermis other than the fact that there's an apparent uh, loss of skin appendages in this area. You can see a hair follicle here, maybe some sweat glands down here. But in here, there uh, still is a normal epidermis, but some loss of skin appendages and a generally large nodule replacing the dermis. Let's take a better look at it. And I'm going to be asking you, as soon as we take a look at it, is what type of cell is causing that dermis to be thickened like that? And if you say, well, gee, it looks like the cells are spindly. It looks like the cells have abundant collagen uh, around or near them. So why shouldn't we call them fibroblasts? And because the fibroblasts are in the dermis, why don't we call this a dermatofibroma? Well, that's exactly what the diagnosis is. This is a dermatofibroma. You'll notice that generally the cells in question are rather spindly. They look like fibroblasts. You can see these little redder bundles of collagen surrounding them. In some areas, there appears to be more collagen than others. And for all practical purposes, these are still called dermatofibromas. Uh, some people had noted that the cells in question, even though they look like fibroblasts, they may have uh, properties of histiocytes or macrophages, so to speak. And so another common term for this is fibrous histiocytoma. And of course, if it looks benign and there's not many mitoses, there's no necrosis, there's um, not much pleomorphism. These are called benign uh, fibrous histiocytomas, also called dermatofibromas. Notice we're going to take a quick trip up to the uh, epidermis here now. And notice the tumor still looks the same, spindly cells, a lot of collagen, uh, no atypia. And we could finally uh, arrive at the epidermis on the other side and that's perfectly normal. So the reason for this uh, tumor being present is for uh, proliferations of cells in the dermis here rather than the epidermis here. And thank you very much.